hey guys what's up uh, this is canvas tutorial and as you know that uh, already CS net examination is over uh, not completely because uh, you know that due to the cyclonic uh, storm that left in the coastal area of our uh, Tamil Nadu so the exam has been postponed in the Union Territory of Pondicherry and Tamil Nadu apart from that most of the students already appeared in the exam in the first set of the examination and the reaction was a bit mixed and uh, most of them has said that uh, the question paper was something difficult and some of them have said that it is quite tricky but from my perspective it's neither difficult nor tricky the question has been asked in a different way actually the question was not that much difficult but the matter is that generally we don't focus on those concepts or those topic uh, like like for your um, electronegativity all red rotary scale so most of the student will not prepare for that uh, suppose ion dipole interaction ion ion interaction what will be the uh, the uh, relation between the distance that means r the ion ion dipole interaction or ion dipole double interaction which is proportional or inversely proportional to the internuclear distance r so that relationship is not that much uh, common which is frequently asked so it's not like that and the question seems difficult because the concept is known to almost everybody who are uh, preparing seriously for the examination but the matter is that how to approach the approach was little bit tough little bit tricky so this made the question paper uh, the level was uh, uh, level lies according to me between moderate to difficult and not only that uh, this time i don't know what will happen in the next uh, set that means the uh, uh, tamil nadu pondicherry set but for this perspective the cutoff should go as low as even 50 percent that means 100 for general category according to me because it is uh, quite difficult it seems quite difficult and some there's a lot of ways that student can mistake suppose if you uh, see the uh, formula based questions in physical chemistry that was not tough but the most important point is that the lengthy calculation make it tough so there's a huge possibility that student make something uh, very uh, common silly mistake in calculation that will uh, go in uh, against them so that is something what you can see from this uh, initial overview so from my perspective it will be around 100 so it could be 98 it could be 102 but it will not go beyond 105 so because this time the cutoff based on this paper i am just repetitively saying that because another set will come and there will be a average i i don't think that nt is going to normalize the mark they didn't uh, do it in case of the previous questions where uh, the assumption was a little bit difficult but the cutoff was same for both the cases so that will not be that will be the case here also so i think according to me uh, NT will not go will not normalize the thing and they will give you the combined cutoff which will be applicable to all so if that question paper is little bit tougher then the cutoff will go below but if that question paper is little bit uh, easier then the cutoff can rise but cutoff doesn't depend on only on the level of the question paper it also depends on the uh, number of seats as well so uh, you know that this is the pandemic situation and uh, it is basically the june 2020 examination okay so it's a june 2020 examination and uh, it is held uh, right now that means november so i don't know whether the december examination will occur or not because this uh, uh, set pending right now the tamil nadu pondicherry set has uh, is already pending that will occur after that they will give you the response sheet and after some time you will after some days you will get the answer key and it's one to two month long process after that you will get the result or cut off whatever so i don't know whether december uh, 2020 examination will uh, 
be held on January, February. I don't know. So that, that's a completely uh, different aspect. But for this perspective, I think that there could be a possibility of increasing the number of seats. So that will go in favor of students as well. So these are some very important factors which I need to discuss. And uh, matter is that the question level I have discussed. And now tomorrow you will get uh, some uh, solutions of the memory based questions. Okay. So keep following uh, my channel. And uh, if you don't subscribe Canvas tutorial, then I will request you to subscribe my channel. And see you soon. Thank you.